finish up with one last story I hope you're going to love as much as I do. This is what I'm liking. This year's March Madness has already given us all its usual narratives, the unexpected defeats, mm -hmm, narrow victories, the Cinderella storyline, but there's one moment from the sidelines that you may have missed. Halfway through the Indiana University St. Mary's round one game, the ball got jammed between the backboard and the shot clock. Uh, players tried jumping for it, no such luck. They tried dislodging it with a mop, did not work, so check out how it did work. Well, maybe he's got to go on Vern's yeah. shoulders. We got Toss holding Pfeiffer. That's the, Kelly is not tall enough. <laughs> Major issues here in Portland. Why don't we get a new ball? Yeah. Why, why don't the cheerleaders, <laughs> they're used to going up high. Let's get it. Yes, get the cheerleader up. Get her up there. This is how you do it. <laughs> Give her the mob. No, she's got it. Oh! this story for so many reasons one being like were there no other basketballs to be found like that's my favorite they were like it's the only ball we could have possibly used um, we have those nimble cheerleaders on the line now watching on WTHR Indianapolis at 11 a.m. say hi to Cassidy and Nathan what's up y'all so all these all these big old dudes out there trying to get this ball so what were you thinking when the ball got stuck did you know you were going to do that I just remember thinking, like, the crowd is booing, everyone is booing at the players for not being able to get it down, and the refs, but... Yeah, we were watching, and the players were jumping up, trying to grab it, it was too high, and then we had the referee get on the chair, and that clearly wasn't working as well, so now the crowd's booing even louder, and so I hear our coach from the sidelines, um... Uh, tell us that we need to put a stunt up. We need to get somebody up in the air. And Cass was ready to go, so I grabbed her and we made it happen. Oh my gosh. So, did you think you were gonna be able to pull it off, Cassidy? Because even when you went up the first time, before he lifted his arms, it still looked like it was like, oh, I'm gonna be too short for this. I was a little nervous. I had to get underneath the bar because I was a little too tall, surprisingly. And um, I had to bend down and shift my weight, which can be a little hard to hold, but we pulled it off. Yeah, you yeah, did. Was... Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I was super nervous because I thought that was the worst possible moment to drop a stunt if I was going to drop one in front of you know, <laughs> national TV. Because um, everyone's watching. But we got it up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so we got the stunt up and we got it all figured out. But uh, unfortunately, our team lost. But it was like such a great experience just to be there with our program and with our school. And uh, it was just an awesome moment. Oh, it was so cool. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Cassidy and Megan. I'm liking your post right now. <laughs> and that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pin, makers of G2, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, want to honor ultimate overachievers just like y'all. So they're going to be writing you a check for $1,000. That's 500 bucks each. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It was worth the stunt.